in the world of mathematics, tomorrow is a day for some serious fun. It's Pi Day, named for the mysterious, never-ending number Pi. Pi Day is now becoming a nationwide phenomenon, you know. It started 25 years ago at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. And since ABC7 is the Exploratorium's official TV partner, tonight we have a Pi primer. Twas the night before Pi Day, round and about, the circles were dancing, the numbers were out. The staff was teaching pie lovers with care in hopes that the pie prince soon would be there. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but a band of musicians with a song of pie cheer. One, two, three, point one, four, pie day. Pie These visions of pie days past are from the Exploratorium, San Francisco's hands-on science museum, where the idea of pie day was born 25 years ago. This March 14th is three... One four, which is the first three digits of pi. Pi is what you get when you divide the circumference of a circle by the diameter. No matter the size of the circle, the answer is always pi, starting with 3.14 and going on forever. Pi has been around since ancient times, but now it's the poster child for a mathematical movement. Pi Day also happens to be Albert Einstein's birthday, and it's observed in classrooms around the country. Congress even voted to make it official. The internet is packed with pie propaganda and products. A Nobel Prize winning UC professor helped create this website, piezone.org. Pi is a number that appears all over the place in mathematics, in the natural world, physics, science. And, you know, exploring its properties is a great way to get kids and adults interested in science and math. <laughs> Physicist Larry Shaw is known as the Prince of Pi. He leads a pie procession that includes the first 125 digits of pi. Archers circle the sacred pie shrine embedded in the center of the exploratorium. It's totally the place to be if you're a, a, a numbers geek. But the exploratorium is moving, so a new pie tradition is about to start. Last year, at the end of Pi Day, the shrine was lifted out of the floor and carefully placed in an appropriate storage container. This is the Exploratorium's spectacular brand new building on the San Francisco waterfront. Now, it doesn't open until next month. But tomorrow, on Pi Day, that hallowed shrine will be placed right here, just a few steps from the Embarcadero. One critical part of the Pi Day celebration has always been eating pie. And tomorrow will be no exception. Cheers to pie. The Exploratorium will have a free celebration at 1 p.m. outside the new building. You are invited to come out and join the fun as pie marches on. Personally, I'm a big fan of apple pie, but that's just me. Now, at abc7news.com, you'll find links to Pi Day, resources, and more about the Exploratorium celebration tomorrow. Click on See It on TV. Remember, ABC7 is the official TV partner of the Exploratorium, which opens at its new location on the Embarcadero April 17th. And over the next few weeks, you'll get exclusive access and the first look at the new Exploratorium right here on ABC7 News. It's pretty cool on this.